Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. I am back for part two of my Wednesday morning beach walk at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. It's about 10 after 8. Temperature's still around 62 degrees, 61, 62. Water temperature's 74. The tide is still going out. Low tide is around 9 o'clock. We had a very high tide, a very high, high tide throughout the evening. You can see how high the weed line is here, the seaweed. Spent most of my morning during part one picking up sea stars and putting them back in the water. Nine armed sea stars washed up high on the beach, way up on the beach here. They had no chance of making it back to the water on their own. So it was a sea star rescue morning. Welcome back everybody. Those of you that are returning for, for part two, my faithful friends. The water is really, really cloudy. Churned up from the waves. There's been a storm just offshore all morning during my walk here. That storm has been out there all morning. Threatening. So far though, it's stayed away. Got a little sprinkle. A little sprinkle earlier, but almost like a mist. Today's high is only going to get up around 70. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be a little cooler down in the 50s tomorrow morning when we get out here. Not looking forward to that. Not looking forward to that at all. And tomorrow evening, starting around 6.30, the 3rd Street South Christmas Walk. I'll be down there doing a live feed on 3rd Street South. Gonna let you see the lights. There's lots of music down there, people dancing, having a good time. Then the snow falls. I think the snow's supposed to fall at 7. So we'll see the Christmas tree all lit up and the snow coming down. Yeah, you heard me right, the snow. Supposed to snow at seven. Tomorrow is also a holiday. How many of you know what holiday tomorrow is? You have to be a Seinfeld fan to know what holiday tomorrow is. Come on, I'm giving it away. Tomorrow is Festivus. Festivus for the rest of us. That was a hysterical episode. That's right, Cindy. Festivus. That's hysterical. Feats of strength. The airing of the grievances. I have a friend of mine that we normally, we celebrate Festivus. We go up to the North Naples Country Club. He brings his Festivus pole and we celebrate Festivus. But tomorrow I'm gonna miss it because I'm gonna be on Third Street South. And he is all disappointed because he got special presents. Festivus gifts are always hysterical. I got a fake gold tooth one year. (laughs) 
I'm not seeing any of those sea stars out here. Looks like they got put back in the water. Thank goodness. There's a lot of people out here looking for shells. There's more shells than have been here on this beach in a long time. Not seeing any right down here, but up to the north. Have a good one. Well, this beach has just been flattened out here with the high tide coming in and going out. Real flat. Flat and not much on it down here. This is area one. I heard Pete and Nancy are behind me somewhere, coming this direction. I was saying, it's like concrete up here. It's like walking on a sidewalk. morning everybody good morning if you're just tuning in happy wednesday happy hump day janice good morning mark good morning sharon good morning arnie good morning Rose, sweet Rose, good morning. Of course, Jackie, good morning, Jackie. Cindy, if you're still hanging out with us. Cindy Khan, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You and your mom, Nana, are so awesome. And Devin. <laughs> Can't forget Devin. He's going to take my place one of these days. Mornings like this, you can tell where the sandbar is. You can, where those waves are breaking out there, that's the outer edge of the sandbar. It pretty much parallels the entire beach here at Del Norwigans and right up into Vanderbilt Beach, right down into Vanderbilt Beach. Out where those waves are all crashing, that's the outer edge of the sandbar. When we have those full moons and those super low tides, those sandbars get exposed and can walk along the beach out there, finding some pretty interesting things at times. We have seen some neat things over the years. 
Had some wonderful dolphin encounters over the years. We've met some awesome people. Seen some really interesting marine life. What's really cool is we actually learned a little something along the way. Not just about what we find at the beach, but we've learned some life lessons along the way. We've seen some of our friends come and go. Of course, our captain, Captain Roy. Roberta, good morning. They got the red flag flying here this morning. Meaning there's hazardous water conditions. Not the best for swimming. It's a little rough. I'm guessing there might be an undertow. A rip current is probably what's happening. You can see the red flag over here on the left. You should always check those flags when you come into the park. Thank you for the stars. Almost to the southern boundary of the park. Almost down at the southern end of the park. Here's the boundary line over here. You can see the seaweed up here came up to the dunes here. That high tide came all the way up here this morning early. Well, we'll head back up the beach and see if we run into Pete and Nancy or Santa Claus and Nancy or ZZ Top and Nancy. <laughs> if you don't know Pete, you'll figure it out when you see him. You'll figure, you understand what I'm talking about when you see him.
Robert stopped by the Sarasota National Cemetery yesterday on his way in from Kentucky on his way down here and paid his respects to Roy. He said Kim had left some beautiful flowers there for him. There was a wreath there as well. Our first, it's going to be our first Christmas at the beach without our captain. He'll be with us though in spirit, that's for sure. Big time. Dexter found a really nice big whelk shell, a lightning whelk up by the pass this morning. I'm sure he'll share a picture of that. From Mike, he didn't find any shark teeth this morning. It's going to be a while before the water clears up here. We're going to need some calm days. That front that came through really messed things up. Jackie. We have two Jackies on this morning. Nice. Walking into the wind now. It's coming out of the northwest. sand is great for walking on this morning. It's like walking on a sidewalk down here. It's as hard as concrete right in this area. Well, the rain gods have been good to me. They kept that rain offshore all morning. Thank you, thank you. Sharon, you have an awesome, awesome day yourself. And Joan, good morning. Welcome. shells have been well picked through already the shellers have been out but there's little 
areas like this where the shells have washed up. You gotta look really close because they're kind of half buried. Half buried in the sand. Then you see something like that. See how that, from up here, looks like a shark's tooth. It's just a piece of a broken shell. All those little black rocks and pieces of broken shells that look like shark's teeth. <laughs> but they're not. Some people call them little heart rocks. Heart stones, heart rocks. What the heck? A piece of wood? Can't tell what that is. Huh. Piece of a shell, I guess. Of course, I thought it might have been a broken arrowhead. You can find those here, arrowheads, if you're lucky. They're usually out in the water. guy's gonna get pulled out into the water all on its own. Just bending over that little bit. Made my back sore again. What did you find? Another arrowhead? Oh, cool, an urchin. Oh, it's it's an empty it's an empty one. That is neat. That's a nice find. Where'd you find that? Oh wow, nice find. I still got all the hoarder. Huh? You need to look at those arrowheads. Yeah. Come by. Is there in a, I put them all in a little case. You take a look at all the shark teeth. Too. Get some pictures of them and show everybody. Yeah, I know. That's what you want. <laughs> that's what I'm scared of. <laughs> yeah, he, Mike has found some pretty cool arrowheads out here. Here comes the clan. The clan. Good morning. Hanging in there. Huh? Hanging in there. That's good. Good morning, everybody. Everybody's, you two are very colorful this morning. My goodness. I also, I said, Robert, who's that old guy coming this way? He's walking funny. I was wondering who that homeless guy was walking up this way. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. We're both curious. <laughs> Yeah, he showed up yesterday. Yeah. He's only he's only gonna be here for a couple days though. You know Robert. <laughs> a week. Yeah, it'll be six months this time. What a morning, man! I was hoping you'd get here earlier this morning to help pick up all those sea stars. We have been. You, We've been I saved some. We've been Ah, yeah, they were. It was crazy. They were. I mean, they were all the way up there. Look what, look what Mike found. Isn't that pretty? A little baby one. Uh, did you see that little sea urchin he found? Yes. <laughs> nice a little sea sand dollar. What you got in your bag? Fighting conks. Fighting conks. Rob's a fighting conch hoarder. <laughs> There's a ton of them out here. 
some other stuff in there, but mostly. Yep. He's building a new house out of fighting conch shells. <laughs> Shell Mountain. Shell Mountain. All right, kids. I'll see you later. Keep an eye on Pete. <laughs> there you go. Connie, Nancy, Pete, and Robert. Uh, hey, Steve, good morning, my friend. We're going to get down to 3rd Street tomorrow around 6.30. Do my live feed. Good morning, Margaret. A week from today... A week from today, we're going to have lunch at Naples House of Omelets. Margaret's going to be in town, and she'll be over there with us. She'd love to have you join us. She'd love to see any of our beach friends that can make it over there next Wednesday at 1.30, the 29th, Naples House of Omelets. I posted, a, I made an event for our get-together there, if you can... RSVP, that'd be awesome just to get an idea how many people are coming. Oh, I see somebody sent some more stars. Awesome, thank you. Remember, any stars that you send now through April 1st, or to April 1st, not through, up to April 1st, get doubled by Facebook, so thank you. It's going to be interesting to see what the beach looks like in a couple of days when things hopefully get back to normal if we're going to have a wider beach or what. We did, besides those nine armed sea stars this morning, unfortunately, sadly, we saw quite a few of these little horseshoe crabs dead on the beach. That was sad. That's its eye right there. They Actually, that is not used as a weapon. That tail, little pointy tips broke off, but that, you don't want to step on it. But they use that tail to flip themselves over when they get turned upside down. They shed this, it's called an exoskeleton, their shell. They shed that, that's its, its bones, its skeleton. It sheds that, and it's amazing to see how they shed everything around their feet, their little feet and everything. There's videos of how they shed. It's pretty amazing to watch the horseshoe crabs. Don't like seeing anything dead on the beach, but that's the circle of life. Mother Nature. Not sure why we're seeing dead ones. I'm hoping there's no red tide out here. Some more stars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Another little horseshoe crab half buried in the sand down there. Over the years, we have come across some live ones crawling around on the beach and just just offshore we have seen our share of live ones pretty interesting to watch 
they look like little army tanks plowing across the beach. Kind of neat looking to see the live ones. Here we are at the north end of Area 2. I don't hear any ospreys up there this morning. Awful quiet. Awful quiet up in the pine tree up there. No, oh, Pete and Nancy. You missed one here. Yeah, I missed one of those big guys. The tide's getting ready to turn. The tide's getting ready to come in. So we'll just put this guy out here on the edge. He'll be fine and dandy. Anchor him down there. Make sure he gets the grip. Gets the grip. <laughs> see, that water is only a couple inches deep, and you couldn't even see the bottom. That's how cloudy it is this morning. night for dinner. Ugh. Gail made, a, made me a monster burger. <laughs> Thing is so darn big. And of course, I had to eat the whole darn thing. Maybe that's why my back hurts from eating that thing. Turning around all that extra weight. Two pounds of hamburger meat. It wasn't that big. But it was big. Boy, it is not warming up here. That breeze coming out of the northwest is keeping the temperature down. Looky here. Looky here. Flip back over. This guy's all tangled up in the seaweed. Come on. Flatten out there. Amazing how many sea stars there are, isn't it? Just amazing. Just Just keep going, keep going. Hey Jeff, good morning my friend. It's the south end of area three where all those sea stars were. Early this, earlier this morning, we were picking them up from way up here, way up high on the beach and putting them back in the water. They didn't have a chance of making it down to the water on their own.
it's been, been an interesting morning this morning. Thanks for hanging out with me. Looking for shells here. I've not found any little treasures yet to add to my collection. But there's more shells out here today than have been out here in quite a while. That's for certain. Horseshoe crabs. These sea stars are going to be fine. The tide is just turning. It's going to pull them all back into the water. Nothing to worry about. That's Connie and Nancy over there. Walking up the beach. We're in area four now. Not the most picturesque morning, huh? Still nice though. Still beautiful in its own way. Oh. 
Donnie found a sea star way up on the beach. I don't think so. No, he's okay. You want to put him in? Yeah, he'll be all right. Okay, he's got a little bad... A little broken arm. Yeah, he was way up here. Yeah. Maybe you can save him. I think he'll make it. He's been out of the water, though, for a long time. Just put him out here. Take him out into the murky waters. Hopefully he'll be okay. He or she. All the goats. Yeah, they're all over the place. So did you finally get rid of him? Did you finally ditch him? I think he's in the he's been going in the water ever so often like he's gonna jump in or something. Oh he's probably putting the sea stars in the water. Oh, that's probably There's a bunch of them right along the edge there. Yeah. They'd be fine, but ah, darn it, I thought you got rid of them, Nancy. <laughs> no such luck. <laughs> Robert and there's Robert down there with some homeless guy walking up the beach. <laughs> he's got his bag. He's carrying his bag with him. Yeah, yep. Walking leisurely, nice and slow. Yeah, yeah. I'm just walking leisurely. He's supposed to be. We're meeting our son. Ah. Stopped in the parking lot at night, but like, come on, Peter. Oh well. They're solving all the world's problems. That's exactly what they're doing. Of course, I didn't put the canister in my car yesterday. That's okay. I, Don't worry about it. I didn't think I was going to see you. That's today. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll put it in the... I'll be down there tomorrow night. Yeah, we're going to go down. Yeah, what time are you going to be down there? Probably around 6.15ish. Okay. Maybe even a little earlier. Me and Kevin are going to drive ride down there and then... I think, I don't know if Robert's... He, Robert said he's going. He's coming. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Be a little group we'll there. A little group. Where are you guys going to hang out? Just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to meet everybody at the Christmas tree. Okay. That's, I'm going to end... I'm going to end, I'm gonna end my feed down there with the snow by the that Christmas tree. That would be a good tree. place to meet. Yeah. By the Christmas tree, don't yep. you think? Yeah, absolutely. So oh, whatever. We might get down there around the corner. And the reason why I may go early is to see if I can get a parking space unless I'm going to walk. I could walk, but depends on how cool. I think tomorrow morning they Tomorrow's said it's going to be the coolest yeah. tomorrow morning. It's tomorrow evening's the last night, isn't it, for the, yes. the music and everything? I think, so. I think it's their big shindig. That's why I picked that night. So I think 7, seven o'clock is what I found on the internet. Oh, did you find that? For the snow. Okay, I but didn't know. Hopefully it's right. Well, it seems like that's what time it's. You know it's how everybody congregates down there real early just to get a, a yep. spot, get a parking spot, get what, a standing spot. What cracks me up is the people with the fancy cars, you know, oh, and know with the convertibles, that. and they think they got a great spot under the I light pole, yeah. and that's where the snow comes from, yeah. and it fills their car up with that foam. <laughs> Don't park by the light poles, Especially folks. Especially you've got a convertible <laughs> yep. and the top is down. <laughs> oh, there's that hat. Pete, Pete and I found this hat. Then we found a towel. So I said, Pete, put the hat with the towel. Then what else oh, did my we gosh. Find, Nancy? There was something else that we found down here that should have gone with that. I was kind of weary of walking up to that thing with the floats on it. What the that, I didn't know what it was. Oh, I'm I like, I'm like, what is? Oh, there's that's Pete's hat. Yeah, and the towel. Pete's hat and towel, nice. Yeah, 
<laughs> Hope he remembers it. Yeah, she's out every morning doing her her well she she sells sits there selling things yeah why not she's not selling herself she's selling products i don't know what she, you know i don't know if it's jewel, <laughs> if it's jewel, jewelry or something i don't know what she sells but i see her all the time out here she starts out with a little dance yeah, and then I thought it was going to blow away. I thought that volleyball net was going to leap blow away yesterday. Hey, Rose, have a wonderful day. She's taking off. Man, it hasn't warmed up at all. I think it's gotten cooler. Actually, they said the air was going to be cooler today. Man. And they said tonight it'll really be cooler. Yeah. Tonight's supposed to be the coolest night. And then it starts to come in warm. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be in the low 50s tomorrow morning. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, I don't, that, I don't like. <laughs> that's all right. 18, I love 18, oh, that's nothing. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. It's all right. She said when I go in the water is when I don't like it. When I come out of the water, <laughs> then it's cool. Yeah. Other than that, it's gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna let you go. See you later. Connie and Nancy. And Pete and Robert bringing up the rear over here. Janet, we'd love to have you down here. Did you, you left your hat over there. No, that's not mine. That's not your hat? I thought it was your hat and towel. That's what Nancy said. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need the hat. So what you got in your bag? I got a couple goodies. Yeah. Em empty Dead. coffee cups. Uh, just trash? No, no. Oh, oh, shells, yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Still live. I am live. I I'm, was telling uh, Pete, he needs to go over to Bell's. Go to Bell's and get some t shirts. Get some of these shirts so you can look like yeah. us. Yep, yeah. join the club, yeah. man. Yeah. That's right. What are the, what's the brand? I forget something. It's a um, reef or something, or uh, I don't know. Look for the little. Too. Yeah. Like Frontline or something. It's a yeah. Real edge. Real legends, that's it. You, you, you can be a part of the club, Pete, if you get some real legends apparel. And they're always on sale. <laughs> Almost, yep. You can get them online, even. You can have a little Florida sent to your house. All right, guys. Behave yourselves. I'll talk to you later, Robert. Well, we've got a call in the morning here, my friends. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate that. Thanks for letting me into your lives in the morning. And thank you for being so generous with your tips, your stars, those of you that have made that commitment to be a regular monthly supporter. Thank you. I appreciate that. Right now, phone, Facebook has a little incentive if every if anybody signs up to be a supporter, it's $4.99 a month to become a supporter of Southwest Florida Television. Even if you sign up for a couple months, Facebook gives me a $20 bonus. So that is nice of them. If you're not a supporter, think about it. I think I'm gonna go home and have another cup of coffee and some little mini blueberry muffins. 
that Pete and Nancy gave me the other day. It feels like one of those mornings. One of those kind of mornings. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget, tomorrow evening, starting around 6.30, live feed from 3rd Street South. We'll do a little Christmas walk, check out the lights, the music, the happy people, the dancing, the snow falling, the Christmas tree, all that good stuff. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television, especially if they like the beach. Help spread the word and share the love. Spread my mission of bringing awesome people just like you together in the mornings, one beach walk at a time. Have an awesome Wednesday. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally ho, my friends, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless. Thank you, Debbie.